The topic is the brain and the venue is the Volga River. From 22nd to 27th of July, the cruise ship Mikhail Frunze welcomed the International Conference Volga Neuroscience Meeting 2018. Almost 200 scientists from all over the world came to the conference to share the latest advancements in various fields of neuroscience, from neural development to early cancer detection and from neurorehabilitation to memristors, while enjoying the beautiful scenery of Nizhny Novgorod, Samara, Kazan and, of course, the Great Russian River. This business-slash-travel event was organized by the Lobachevsky State University of Nizhny Novgorod. I find it interesting from uh, two sides, so uh, the science is really interesting, so the several colleagues uh, that I meet here but, but I generally would not meet uh, at other conferences, so look at you in neuro neuronal development and uh, synapse development, and the other side is of course cultural, so it's great to be, uh, to, be to have an opportunity to see um, Russia from, an, from a different side and uh, to visit all these uh, very beautiful places that I would never have the opportunity to, so yeah. The Volga Neuroscience Meeting is a, a very high-level uh, conference. It is uh, very well organized and this uh, formula uh, of keeping all together uh, in a, a very attractive uh, program is uh, very efficacious. I, I knew also from the previous edition that the uh, results of the conference were uh, very relevant and uh, uh, the capacity to bring together so many uh, experts from so many countries is for sure uh, a great success for this conference. Некоторые симпозиумы Certain symposia have a very narrow topic, but since this conference comprises of several symposia at once, you can always find an interesting topic for you. Конференция необычна, необычна для России, я имею в виду. This is an unusual conference, unusual for Russia, I mean. In a certain sense, it's a synthetic meeting. It is not confined by one topic. That is why, on one hand, it is hard to participate in it, because you cannot be an expert in every single topic. And some presentations may seem hard to understand. But on the other hand, it is an interesting experience because it helps you expand your knowledge and understanding of current processes in the neuroscience in the world. I think it's amazing. Uh, I think the Volga is fantastic. Russia is fantastic. Russians are fantastic. Uh, also, you know, it's, it's a great scientific meeting. I mean, it's just the second day, but we had amazing talks on all areas of neuroscience. So, yes, I'm having a great time. The poster session is a chance for young and bright scientists of Russia and the world to showcase their research, and it was one of the most exciting parts of the conference. What could be better for a young scientist than the feedback from a senior, internationally renowned colleague? This format is very productive. And since we are on the boat, the participants have no choice, they have nowhere else to go and do other things. That is why they spend all their free time on science, on the fields that interest them, fields where they want to grow in the future. I'm also one of the organizers. Viktor Tarabikin invited me to be the secretary in this section. I coordinate the work of most of the scientists. This helps me improve my English and communication skills. I find new friends here. Some people can also find partners for research collaborations here too. And this can even be the birthplace of new projects. Here you can have much more close and intense interaction with people in your field and adjacent fields. This is a very unique environment. Neuroscience is a very diverse field. Sometimes the neuroscientists have a hard time understanding each other. But the crews provided enough time and space to solve this problem. You can't escape your colleagues on the ship. And when a lot of scientists get together in one place, the brainstorm is inevitable. It is unanimous. The ship is a perfect venue for the neuroscience conference. Absolutely fantastic. The, the quality of the scientists is extremely high. Um, they have been very good. And what is interesting also is that a lot of people presented and published work. And the other thing that I like a lot is that people really have a lot of questions. And there's a lot of discussions during the sessions and outside the sessions. And the fact that we are in a boat and people cannot disperse in some ways stimulate the interaction between scientists. So it has been overall fantastic. Here there are some of the best uh, uh, scientists in the field. So each conference I learn a lot and I put together and... 
Барьеры максимально сняты, потому что если, допустим, я... All the barriers for communication are gone here. Because, for instance, when I sit in my lab and I want to learn something from another field, I open the article and try to understand it. But it's much easier just to come up to a person and ask a question directly and get a short and clear answer. That is why there is nothing better than direct communication between scientists. It is very important. This is a very interesting mix of scientists from different fields representing technological approaches, people who develop different methods of medical treatment and neurological research, and us, people who study the brain of health and disease patients. We happen to be very useful to each other. We get to learn about new technologies we can apply. We have already discussed a number of projects where we can apply some engineering and neurotechnological approaches to study healthy and diseased brains. That is why I find this experience very unexpected. I was worrying a little before the meeting, but now I'm confident that my group will come here once more. Today, Lobachevsky University offers more than 50 state scholarships for interdisciplinary medical fields. Many students choose to study here even without any scholarship. Just 10 years ago it was hard to imagine, but today this is one of the many achievements of Lobachevsky University in biomedicine. Volga Neuroscience Meeting is an excellent opportunity to share these achievements with the international scientific community. They take home to their institutes the understanding of the fact that Lobachevsky University of Nizhny Novgorod does have a number of serious research groups that produce a top quality scientific research. This is very important in terms of promotion of our university, because just like every other international university, we compete for bright students, compete in the market of education. The situation with biomedicine in Nizhny Novgorod is very dynamic. You can look at the number of grants, number of people working in this field. Things have been happening over the past few years. The situation has changed dramatically. This is fantastic. This year, perhaps, for the first time in biomedical history of Lobachevsky University, we will employ a researcher who has never had any previous ties with Russia. The professor from Bulgaria will come here to establish his laboratory at Lobachevsky University. We live in the era of synthesis. Today, all the serious and fundamental scientific results must be interdisciplinary. They have to be achieved through joint efforts of people representing different fields of physics, chemistry, biology, medicine, supercomputer technology, of course. This is a very popular practice in biomedical research, and we fully support this approach to science. We have people who collaborate across these interdisciplinary boundaries, and we have people who know the extreme depths of their subjects. This is a very interesting collaboration, and we support it as the model the science of the future. Organizers of the conference always want to see more new faces, new topics and new research results at the neuroscience meetings. This sounds like a plausible challenge, as the majority of participants of Volga Neuroscience Meeting 2019 already want to come to this River Conference in 2020.